Say it one more time, it's so cute. Avocado. Avocado, you're adorable. I love you. So the, you play the game named Avocado. Avocado, <laughs> you're <Yeah>. so sweet. <laughs> All right, so tomorrow is the day. Tomorrow, Daddy is leaving us for about three weeks. So we are preparing to stay here by ourselves and we are getting Avery hooked up for emergencies. So this is my old iPhone 6 and we are teaching Avery to dial 911. We're not actually gonna dial it. Um, so that way, if she's ever an emergency, she knows how to do it. You don't actually do it. Okay, and so this phone doesn't have a SIM card, so it only works on the um, internet. But this way, if there's an emergency, Avery knows how to handle it. She also knows how to call me on Messenger. Why don't you give it a try, Avery? Try and call me on Messenger. Um, that way, she can contact me if she needs to. Um, not that I plan on her ever having to do that. But this phone will only work on internet. Okay, give me a call, Avery. She's got a kid messenger account, and it tells me that I am getting a message from Avery. Hi, Avery. Hi, mommy. <laughs> and now she can call me. I need to eat this meat fast, though. Well, I don't know. You want me to do video? Because I want to eat this meat fast. Oh, wait, I got to put my thumb in. There we are. Hey, we'd like to video chat. There we are. Oh, you look gorgeous. Got some rainbow hair. <laughs> oh, wow. That's pretty crazy. <laughs> so, Avery can call me if there's an emergency. And now she knows how to call 911. So, we'll get this phone charged up. And we are going to do okay, right? Without Dad. We're going to do okay on our own. And we're going to pray that Daddy does good with his surgery. Hello. He leaves tomorrow. We were going to go with him, but with COVID and everything else that was taking place, um, we just don't think it's wise for to expose Chris to all that extra germs that's possible um, also keeping the kids from jumping on him while he's recovering since it is spinal surgery so um, that's the plan anyways and we're gonna hang out here and Chris will hopefully be able to come back in about three weeks and we can do it right guys yeah yeah you guys are gonna help me out never what you have to be my helpers. No, I'm going to have to be. So this is last day and last night with us. I can't believe it. Today is the day. Chris is leaving for Kansas City for three weeks. We've never been apart that long. Even when we were dating, we'd still see each other every, you know, week or so. Um, so it's going to be quite a change. I mean, we've got electronics and stuff, but um, we're packing up and getting his stuff ready and... You know, he really needs the surgery, but it's still not what we had planned and not ideal. Um, but it is what it is, so hopefully things go well. Here's our calendar. Um, today is the 13th, and then he has a COVID test tomorrow morning. Um, then two days, he has to isolate to make sure the COVID um, test is negative, and then he'll have his surgery. 16th at 9:30, and then he will be gone for Father's Day. He'll be gone for Kason's birthday. He'll be gone for his birthday, and the 4th of July too. The 4th of July is always a really big event for our family, so that's gonna be really lonely for me to be here by myself during that time. Um, so I have to just try and remind myself I gotta be strong for the kids and. Um, they're gonna take this hard not having a dad for a couple weeks and I know some families do this all the time and some fam like moms are single moms and you guys are amazing because I don't know how you do it um, I'm flipping out thinking of how I'm gonna manage all this three weeks on my own and some of you guys do this all the time and that's I just I can't imagine you guys are amazing um, so anyways getting ready for the trip we're gonna we're gonna manage the kids have got like messenger <laughs> <laughs> on their iPads so they can talk to their dad. They have like kids messenger and they'll be able to send messages to their dad whenever they want and they can face with them, or video chat with them too. So um, it's going to be fine. It's not forever. And when daddy gets back, we're all going to be glad, right? 
Yeah, and I also have a mosquito bite. I'm sorry, you have a mosquito bite. Hey, but here's an exciting thing. Now that Dad's leaving, we don't have to isolate quite as much, and COVID numbers are down in the area. Well, there's, they haven't been rising quite as fast. Instead of like 100 cases a day, there's been like one or two cases a day. Um, and then sometimes no new cases. So um, once Chris leaves, we've been trying to isolate to keep him safe. Um, but once he leaves today, they can start playing with the neighbors again, and they are really excited. They haven't been able to play with the neighbors for a while. We have a new trampoline that the neighbors are um, anxious to try out, so that's exciting. And they have a birthday party later today, too, so that'll keep them occupied. So um, it'll be good. We'll manage, and we'll just be glad when the surgery is over because he really needs this surgery, too. People catch the biggest uh, fish. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can watch keep people catching the biggest fish. One day we... Yeah, we can put it on TV. So, Daddy just left. And we're not going to see him for three weeks. And we're all pretty sad. I know. We're all sad, buddy. It's going to be tough, but we're going to be okay. We're going to be okay. I know. We're going to be all right. And Daddy's going to be all right. And he's going to come back, okay? It's just three weeks. So the doorbell just rang and I went to answer it thinking it was the neighbors. And then I got surprised with this instead. Oh, I was doing good. Holding it together and it's so pathetic. I mean, lots of people spend time apart it's just that there's so many unknowns at this time um the card that went with it um we haven't told the kids but if his immune system gets weakened because of covid and if he catches covid because he's such high risk i mean there's legitimate concern there that something could go wrong and that's one of the main reasons why i actually stayed with the kids he has such bad asthma and such terrible breathing trouble that if he were to catch it, it would be really, really serious. So um, that's one of the main reasons we decided to stay. But um, it's so sad because I know a lot of people, um, you know, have pe husbands or spouses that ship out and they don't see them for weeks or people travel all the time. Um, but I think part of it is we're just so isolated here and yeah we have friends but we don't have any family backup you know we can call to come help us and um I really don't want to have to call friends and you know put them out and with family I don't really feel like I'm putting them out as much um my family is going to come visit in a couple weeks so that's nice but um yeah we haven't been apart and we've been married 18 years this July next month we've been married 18 years and then um, even when we were dating we'd see each other like once a week even during the summer um, we've been apart before I mean don't get me wrong I would go on a business trip or Chris would go on a business trip but that was never more than a week um, so this is the longest we've ever gonna be apart so um, it's tough because you know what if something happens during the surgery or what if something happens to me there's nobody here to help with the kids or take care of the kids um, what if something happens to one of the kids and then I've got to split my time between the hospital and, you know, it's, we're just praying that nothing like that happens. And like I said, I was doing great until he sent these and now I'm kind of a mess. So trying to hold it together, trying to be strong for the kids. I know it's not the end of the world. It's just three weeks and hopefully soon I'll be making a vlog about him coming home and us being happy again. Today is the day of Chris's surgery. Kids have been doing good. It's Tuesday and um, just having a little iPad time in the morning. They've been playing outside a lot. Now that they can play at the neighbors, they've been on the trampoline and the neighbors have a pool, so they've been in the neighbor's pool. So they haven't really been inside much at all. Um, Daddy's kind of hanging in there and on his way. We want to go in the pool. You can later, I'm sure. Daddy's on his way to the hospital right now. It's about um, 9, 10, and he needs to be at the hospital at 9.30, and then surgery is scheduled for 11.30. Um, so we're just praying that everything goes smoothly. He said it's about a two-hour surgery. Um, I wish I could be there, but it's better for the kids. The kids have adjusted pretty well being here and staying on schedule and being in their home. So. 
Um, his for the best, but it is hard that I'm not there to be able to be with him. But hopefully he'll be back with us soon. It's about noon. Chris has been in surgery for about half an hour. Um, trying to distract myself and not think about it and uh, just pray and trust that he is in good hands. Alright, so here's our family meeting. We just talked to the surgeon and they said that daddy's surgery is well and daddy is doing okay. Alright, they said that it was a hard surgery and dad's going to be in a lot of pain for a while, but that he should be fine. All right, so now he's just being recovered, which means he's going to stay at the hospital and they're just going to make it's sure that he's okay. Like, yeah. How hard? Well, they, they said it's, uh, he probably won't be able to talk very good because his throat got a little messed up. So if we, well, um, if we talk to dad on the iPad, he may not be able to talk, all right? So he'll probably be like, I love you. Yeah, yeah. So if he can't talk, don't be scared. And if we look at him on the iPad, um, just remember that he did have a big surgery, but he's doing okay and daddy's going to be okay, all right? Mommy. Do you guys have any questions? What, how did his throat get messed up? Well, they went in through the front and then they had to move everything around so that they could get to the back of his neck where they were working. Did they, did they forget to put it back? No, they put everything back, but when they move things around, it's like if somebody grabbed your neck really, really hard, it'd be hard to, it'd be hard to talk and it'd be hard to swallow. Mommy, and hard to breathe. Hard to breathe. Will, will, will Daddy will be able to talk better again? He will. It'll take a little while for him to be able to talk, and it, his throat will hurt for a while. But only, um, it sounds like just like a couple days is all it's gonna be. Okay. Do you guys have any other questions? No. Yeah. No. No. Okay. They'll let us talk and see Daddy as soon as they can. But for right now, Daddy's still waking up from the medicine. So he's still very sleepy, so we probably won't talk to him for a little bit, all right? But the Does he feel pain right now? No, they have him on a lot of pain medicine, so it's not going to be very painful for him right now, at least. He, when the pain medicine wears off, when the pain medicine wears off, then it'll hurt him more. He's going to stay at the hospital tonight with Grandma Bia, and then hopefully tomorrow he'll be able to go back home with Grandma Bia. Do you think Grandma Bia's worried? Grandma Bia is not as worried now because the surgery is over. Okay. Was you, like really worried during the surgery? Well, I think we all were pretty worried during the surgery because it took longer than it was supposed to. Wait, really? Mm-hmm. It took about three hours and it was only supposed to take about two hours. But the good news is everything's okay. It's all over. And um, Daddy's going to be all right. Okay? All right. Any other questions? No. All right, love you guys. Chris is awake and I think he's still in recovery, not in a room yet. It's about, oh, getting close to six o'clock. Um, they said they were really busy, so I'm not surprised. They've taken a long time to get him a room. But he's been texting me and um, that's a good sign. He seems, you know, alert and says he hurts, but um, seems to be doing okay. So, you know, that's good considering everything. Um, I have had the kids bathed and showered and fed and now we're kind of hunkering down and getting ready to have a movie night. Um, the kids have never seen Alice in Wonderland so I think that's what we're going to do for movie night tonight. Um, I think they'll like it. So yeah, just taking it a step at a time. And have I mentioned how fun the spun couch is? Oh my goodness, we've got a fort going on in here now that they are all in. And Popsicle because they all ate a really good dinner. So if they eat good, they get a dessert. I cannot see you. Oh, I see you. That's really cute. Did a little hole. <laughs> a little hole. Hi, are you guys having fun? There's a little hole to breathe. Well, that's important. <laughs> this fun couch, worth the money. Let me tell you, used every single day. Kids love it. <laughs> All right, time to get ready for a movie.